I've got my steel-toed boots on. Oh, look at that dance. Because I am uh, going into the uh, construction zone. I'm going to realign the streetcars. Uh, I think you're a foreman. That's what I think you yes. are. Instead of, uh, you know, one of the workers, I think you're the guy with the white hat. You'd be the bossy boss. Is that the guy that yeah. bosses people around? Yeah. Yes. Usually, okay. yes. The site um, supervisor, foreman. Got yes. It. Uh, so we're going, we're going to go outside in a little bit, and we're going to go and see what What's what there? Do what's you, what's underneath? Do you have your hard hat? I do. Good. And my vest. Safety first. It's it, I'm for me. I'm always a kid when it comes to uh, stuff like this. So. And that's you know when you look at that, there's some iron work that's involved. There's some uh, of course concrete and pavement. There's a lot of things going on. Sew there. Sewers are yes. involved. Yes. Uh, the pow part of the part of the, the pow power is a huge mm -hmm. uh, deal down there. So and, there you go. And we've all been saying how quick and efficient they've been. Everything has been down they to a science. Good. And day after day, they have a very clear plan. Uh, the other day, they were lining the streetcars, which has been really cool because they've been putting in those automatic switches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I've always been wondering how those switches work. We're going to find cars, out. When streetcars pull up, how do they turn? We're going to find out. Um, speaking of which, once the streetcars are running again through here, no smelly food on the streetcar. <laughs> okay. Well, there's, there's, there's an article uh, in The Independent, and uh, the folks in London, England are trying, they want to do what some people in New York are calling for, and that is a ban on smelly food hmm. on the subway. And I guess it would be tough to enforce, but maybe we're just doing a public service announcement. Do you think smelly food should be banned? on the subway. We've got a poll going. There's a poll going uh, at Kevin Frankish and it's right now 73% of you uh, think, and, and people are always different when it's anonymous voting, right? 73% of you think that smelly food should be banned, mm -hmm. but then in all of the comments, people are saying, how do you manage this? Yeah, how, how do you uh, enforce you, it? You can't enforce it. You can't so, ban the food. Brad Ross tweeting in as well. Yeah. He commented saying you can't ban the food. Some people need uh, access to food for medical reasons. Right. Uh, who's the arbiter for what smelly food? How do you enforce it? It just I opens was, up a whole can of so last week was an excruciating hot week in New York City. I was in New York City Transit almost every day we were on the subway. I don't remember smelling food. I remember smelling many other <laughs> <Yeah>. things. <laughs> That's what other food wasn't one of them. Maybe I would actually be pleased. That's what other people food. bring yes. up. They're saying, yes. what about body odor? That's what you should be banning. Well, there's so many different smells yeah. in a subway system in transit. When you have people in a confined area like that, and a lot of people are moving from one place to the other, and sometimes it's their only time to get a bite to eat. This uh, yeah, nutrition's so important for people. Absolutely. This conversation can extend into the workplace as well. I believe there's a sign upstairs, isn't there? Near the kitchen. Near the microwave, yeah. It says, no fish, what no, pop the no popcorn. Be respectful, basically, of, of your coworkers oh. and, and it's in your handwriting. Food you're eating. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe we're just doing a public service announcement then. Is we're just saying to people, so, listen, if, if if you have a food that smells, it might be something you might want to consider eating somewhere else rather than around a whole bunch of people. So is it egg salad sandwich? Is that the one? If they what is the smelliest? I don't know. I mean, uh, the other thing too is when you in an apartment. When you get oh, off right. the elevator and you're walking right. back to your, your, your apartment, <laughs> but there's 12 different <laughs> cooking smells going on that maybe you don't like, but mm -hmm. maybe other people do. It's just so subjective. It's really, it really hard is. to enforce something yeah. like that. And we live in a city that's in a confined area, and, and it, smell is just a part of the city. I it's think part it, of our culture, yes. right? I mean, my, I'm Korean. Kimchi is very stinky, but it's one of the most delicious things to eat. Okay, can we but, have a, Kim, no kimchi <laughs> on the subway? Okay. I wouldn't it? do that. To no. I, would, I would not do but that. But it's so good. Yeah. Uh, so, so, and then it, it's another thing to set up fights in the subway, right? <laughs> Sir, your food stinks. Bang! There you go. Have your say at Kevin Frankish. Uh, you're watching <laughs> Breakfast Television. It's 7 o'clock.